that the human soul is the most beautiful place for God to be. The one father of the church, Father Sofronios of Soros, says that uh, there's, no, there's no church more beautiful than the human soul. The, the Orthodox Church is uh, established by, uh, by Christ Himself at Pentecost. When the Holy Spirit came to the apostles, they went and began to teach what Christ had taught them. By the nature of orthodoxy, one must be in church because the Eucharist and the sacraments are necessary for our salvation. Uh, there was never a Martin Luther. There was never a Henry VIII. There was never a Mohammed or Buddha or anyone who created something new because the only thing new under the creation is the God-man, Jesus Christ. The central point of a Christian life is to be united to Christ. Like the Apostle Paul says, it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. We live in the sacraments. We live in the Eucharist. Of course, there's fellowship, right? There's all, all of this. There's other things that, that are part of that, that people see their friends. They find out how the week went. They ask how their children are doing. Fellowship, friendship, uh, love, community, those things are all taking place as a part of that, that central act, which is the Eucharist. We have a unique message, a unique life so as a church. When we kiss an icon, we're not worshiping that wood and that paint. We're giving honor to the person depicted. Lighting a candle reminds us of Christ himself who said, I am the light of the world. Well, you know, the incense is like an offering, again, to God, but it also, as the smoke rises, it's like a prayer before God. Look at the, the censer itself. It's shaped like a church, and there are 12 bells, like 12 apostles. Family for Greeks or for Orthodox people is uh, where a person belongs. A person learns to love, learns responsibility, learns uh, how to live. Although God is in all places and fills to all things, we know that there's special places in His creation where He manifests Himself in a distinct way that we can receive Him and participate in Him, and that is the church. We build beautiful churches, but we try to build beautiful souls.